Hello, everyone. Welcome back to Danganronpa V3. Uh, still trying to process. Hey there. La oh. Guess I don't have to introduce myself, huh? What? I guess oh. This is Taro. Confusing seeing yourself like this. Okay, another cold open for Chapter Four. Guess I should start from the beginning. Okay. That's the way it is. Now, Monokuma probably already told you this, but just in case. When is this being this recorded? Will continue until there are only two people left. Now, the important part of that rule is that. Oh, there is one more. Thing. Why is it? Why is it skipping? Well, the truth is, this isn't your first. This isn't our Anyone first. Who finds out who you are is gonna come from Were they all forced to participate in the killing game before? So watch your back. Trust no one. And never forget. You wanted this killing game. So you have to win, no matter what. What kind of memories are we still missing? Am I right? Is is this just some some hell they're trapped in that they have to live over and over again? Could that really be it? But yeah, man, in the last one, um, Kia was definitely one uh, disturbed individual. But thanks to him, we've lost two more friends now, Angie and Tenko. And something's up with uh, Kaido. Is he, is he like terminally sick? It's definitely gonna derail the whole bromance thing he has going on with uh, Shuichi. Anyways, the morning after the third class trial. After waking up from Monokuma's announcement, I headed to the dining hall as always. Mm. Uh, um... Good morning, everyone. <gasps> yeah, good morning. Good morning. Mm, pretty, uh... Still a pretty, uh, depressing atmosphere. There's a dark moon in the air at the dining hall today. Yeah. Not hard to see why. It's to be expected with what we've been through. In a situation like this, I don't see how we could all, how could possibly stay enthusiastic. Well, with two exceptions. Yo, what's wrong, bro? You're not gonna eat. <laughs> if you don't eat, then Gonzo will eat you instead, Shuichi. Huh? He'll eat me. Don't you mean my breakfast? You know... Speaking of Gonzo, where is he? I haven't seen him this morning. Hmm. He's not here yet? Hmm. He's probably still sleeping. Ah. <laughs> hmm. The atmosphere's heavy. Everyone's really taking a mental beating. Hey! You guys have no energy. You need to look alive. You're all still teenagers. Oh, Himiko's being the upbeat one now. Okay. She really took... She really took what was said to her yesterday to heart. Your good mornings are too quiet. It's because you're so quiet you feel down. Uh, <laughs> hey! I didn't mean you should sigh louder. Weirdo. I thought you'd be the most depressed out of all of us. Mm. Of course I'm depressed. This is the most depressed I've been in all my 200 million years. What? 200 million years? But... Being depressed won't stop those who died rest in peace. Tenko and Angie, too. If I stay depressed, they won't be able to rest in peace, either. Okay! 
So in order to make their deaths have meaning, I've decided to live live my life with positivity. Yeah, there's there's still some typos in grammar. Um snafus in this. That's fine though. The rest of this totally makes up for it. So anyone, please take care of the new me. Come on, man. You're out of breath already. You're going full speed right out of the gate. Yeah. But it's just like Himiko said. Those of us left need to look at the to the future and live for all the other sakes. Right. Let's cheer up and work hard. This game is just getting started. Don't say it like that, Kokichi. Huh? Game. Oh? Huh? Isn't that what we're talking about? Ah, uh, but now that there's less people, I might be the next victim. Wow. This is so exciting, but I definitely don't want to die. <laughs> well, I guess that's the same for everyone else. <laughs> Always messing around. Still saying crap like that at a time like... Just then the door of the dining hall burst open. Oh, is that Gonta? Yeah. This big problem. Everyone, the serious. Oh. No. Uh, oh no, the colossal high school girl's on the other side of the wall, isn't she? Oh. What? Okay, maybe not that serious, but Gonta went to the courtyard before coming here. Could it be? The graffiti was more added to it. Mm. Yeah, more letters added. Huh? This word is this this world is mine. Wait. What about the world? What does it mean? Is there some crazy story going on? Probably just graffiti, right? We should ignore it. No. I don't think that's a good idea. Do you want to die? <laughs> huh? All right, that's just a habit of hers. But my heart skips a beat every time. Because. No one here takes credit for it, huh? But now there's more added to it. It must have some meaning. You know. So seriously, none of us here wrote it. This is a prank. You better speak up. But. But Gonta stumbled onto the writing by coincidence, right? If this was a prank, they would have done it in a more obvious spot, not in the grass. There's nothing more depressing than an unnoticed prank. Oh, I see. It's like a titty no one wants to fondle. Ah. Thanks for the analogy, Mew. Well, it could be just Gonta writing it, since he was Gonta the first to find it. Uh, Gonta never make trouble for everyone. It's ungentlemanly. What is that writing? More and more gets added. Who's doing it? What does it mean? Well, I don't really get it, but maybe it's some kind of clue. Well done. Thanks for the report, Gonta. Mm. Gonta just glad to help. Oh yeah. Gonta want to help, even little. Tell Gonta if you need help with something, okay? Okay. Hey, got it. I'll let you know if I want you to punch someone. Don't <sighs> listen to him. No, you don't get to tell Gonta what to do anymore. Gonta. Yeah, Gonta learn after insect meet and greet. Boring. Oh shit, what do you want? Oh, my ears are burning! Are you guys talking about me again? You must love me. Yay! Are you getting dizzy from the face I make when I concentrate really hard? Actually, your face is always the same, isn't it? Yeah. Never mind that, you guys are probably eager for it, right? The motive? No, we're not. My prize, that is! Oh god, here it comes. You guys can't live without getting a prize right now, right? 
That's what I thought, so I brought a prize. Is it? What's an Earth sign? Oh my, forgetting your catchphrase is like the kiss of death for a mascot, you know. Because of a mascot, get it? That wasn't even a joke. There was no setup, no punchline, no nothing. By the way, who's this pink stuffed pig and why is she talking to me? What is going on with the mono kids? Too, right? Absorbly fascinating. I could watch them forever. No. I've had about enough of them. Yeah, me too. Hey, hey. hey give us some loving too. I want my reward already. Don't you know? The reward is probably the next motive. When did you get so friendly with Monokuma Kokichi? Okay, okay. The prize this time is. Oh, right, the, uh... Okay, some more, uh, exploration items. Oh. Oh, I frickin' knew it! What is... Motive? Did you say motive? This mysterious card key is your next motive! The classic Keteronized stick approach. No one can work a carrot or a stick like Daddy. Uh, don't say it like that. Phrasing. Screw your carrot and your stick. Give me whips and chains all the way. <laughs> a card key is the motive? What does that even mean? Probably whatever, yeah, the new area you can open with the card key. Is that where the real motive is? That's a secret. Why don't you use it if you're so curious? Please wait. No, we shouldn't. If we want to prevent another murder from happening... <laughs> Yoink, I'll take that card key then. Oh. Kichi used his light body to his advantage and took the card key from Monokuma. No can do that! Oh no. But that Monokuma's motive! What if another murder happened? I wouldn't mind that at all, you know. Huh? Of course you wouldn't. Because? Because this is the killing game and we're the players. Plain and simple. Why wouldn't the players play the game? Just give it to us. No way. No thanks. See ya. Oh shit, I don't like the sound of this. That's hey, wait up! Kichi ran out of the dining hall, pursued by Kaido. Running in the halls isn't normally allowed, but I suppose boys will be boys. Also, I forgot to mention this, but I've hit another flashback light somewhere. I wonder what memories you'll uncover next. Happy hunting! So long, farewell! What's so long, farewell mean? You forgot that too? Come on, let's go! What should we do? Kokichi and Kaido are gone. I'm worried. We cannot leave Kokichi alone with that card key motive. But... But aren't you curious about the flashback light, too? That's true. Perhaps we should all search together and look for Kokichi as well. Well... That's a good idea, but let's focus for Ko Let's look for Kokichi while you focus on the search. Logical. Right now we need your skills as a detective, Shuichi. Then... All right. In, ca in that case, let me hold on to that. I'll look around again. Yeah. Shuichi's grown up. He's become so reliable. 
Now that you're so respectable, I'll let you pet me if you want. Actually... Oh, I see. So Shuichi gets that honor. Mm. Shuichi's so amazing. Don't you want to be useful to everyone, too? It's okay. Don't worry. When the time comes, we'll use your body as a meat shield. Well, gee, thanks, mm. Maki. Okay, Gunza, hope that time comes soon. No. No, we should hope that it doesn't come. Yeah, really. Okay, where to begin? I'll ha I'll search for a place to use these mysterious items. So did we get a paintbrush and a stone? even less screen than last time. There's still maintenance going on. Hey! So what's the deal with this place anyway? What kind of facility was it before? Hmm. Are they renovating an old facility? Perhaps constructing a new building? Yeah. At the start, Monokuma said they were supposed to be facilities for us. Fuck all That's obviously a lie. That plush bear is stuffed with lies and shit. Well. It's hard to imagine they built this entire facility just for us. That's right. I also think Monokuma was lying. He's an exceptionally deceitful being. Uh, um... Being? Well, he is a robot, isn't he? That's robophobic. Shuichi, have you been a robophobe this whole time? No. No, that's not what I meant. <laughs> but when will we finally learn what this Ultimate Academy really is? Why does it exist? Is it really just a place for us to have the killing game? Hmm. Where to look first? Huh? Was this... Were those letters there before? I feel like they weren't. Were they? Are they... Are they like the... Are like they like the stone that we found before? Show yourself! Where are you hiding? Come, talk to Gonta! Hmm. Gonta? Are you looking for Kokichi? Um... No, not Kokichi. Bugs are... Gonta see tiny bug! No mistake this time, it definitely fly by Gonta's eyes! Hey, bugs! Come out again! Gonta just wanna talk! Tiny bugs again. Gonta's been talking about him for a while. I'm sure he's interested as he's the, ulti as the ultimate entomologist. But the memory of the insect meet and greet is so raw. <laughs> Still, I wonder. I wonder if that's actually foreshadowing something. Uh, thought I'd find you here. She's staring at Tenko's lab. I should leave her alone. Hey, Shuichi. Don't stare at me so much, or I'll become even more beautiful. Uh, um... I see. Embarrassed about something she said herself? You. Did it look like I was blushing? Huh? You're right. Before, no one could tell that I was blushing, right? That's right, I remember. It's becoming more and more beautiful, just like me. 
Oh, really? Oh, you just made Himiko angry. Something like you wouldn't notice, but this is Himiko and she's mad. No, I was just blushing. What? From your own compliment? Okay. Yeah, you looked a little embarrassed just now. Okay, then I'll keep at it. Miko is really trying to change. Um. Tanko. It's not embarrassing to express your feelings. It's only human. Miko's changed, just like you wanted. She's not so lazy anymore. She's working hard, trying to live well. But you exchanged your life for that. It's not fair. Yeah, I don't think there was anything on the other side of it. <laughs> sure is quieter now that no one's yapping at two of this, a two of that anymore. <laughs> that fucking midget was running a goddamn call. I mean, if there really was a god... He'd obviously make me the gorgeous girl genius has chosen one. <laughs> That's kooky fucking bitch. That's not... I don't know about that. We haven't come across Kokichi at all. I wonder where he could have gone. I knew it. If he's not in the courtyard, is he inside somewhere? Yeah. You're probably right. But apparently Kokichi's quite good at hide and seek. If he's serious about hiding from us, finding him may prove to be quite troublesome. <laughs> troublesome. What is it? Why do you look so surprised? Uh, um, no, it's nothing. How about this? Please tell me, you don't need to hesitate. We're after all, we're friends. Then... Well, I just thought perhaps a robot could find a human. What? <laughs> Shuichi, you're not even trying to hide your robophobia anymore. What, really? Anyway, Shuichi. That black object over there looks suspicious, doesn't it? The one with the red border. Object with a red border? Where do you, where do you see that? This? Oh, I didn't even notice that. I thought it was like a trash can or something. What the hell? And just like that, a, a building drops out of the sky. <laughs> the buildings just combined. <laughs> what did you do to my lab? It's going in super deep. Oh, God. <laughs> I'm assuming another ultimate lab. From the machines in the sci-fi field, I deduce this is Kibo's lab. All right. I'll check inside. Wow. Very, very sci-fi looking. Looks like a maintenance room for a robot. There are machine parts everywhere. I knew it. This is definitely Kibo's lab. So let's knock shit around. I haven't done that in a while, anyways. Or what's that the only thing we could do to? Hmm. Whose lab is this? Huh? Oh, isn't it yours? No way! I don't want this. I don't like this sort of sci-fi technology. Can we leave now? Is that all right? But I imagine a, a lot of things in here would really help you out. You should take a look. No, I do not want to be assisted by sci-fi technology. Technically, aren't 
use sci-fi technology? We shouldn't rely on the power of sci-fi for anything. Wouldn't that include you, Kibo? That's right. Anyway, I would prefer a more Japanese theme since I like that food the most. Unfortunately. Even though I can only stare at it. So how could you prefer the food? <laughs> at the very least, I'd like some kimonos in my lab and a porch with wind chimes. Uh, okay. Yeah, that'd be nice. Doesn't seem like Kibo's gonna use this lab. Well, he's free to do as he pleases. Nothing I can do about that. Still, I'm noticing a trend here, folks. In the last couple of chapters, it seemed like every time we unlocked new labs for somebody, one of those people ends up dead, and another one of those people ends up being the killer. I hope I'm wrong on this. I'm sure... I'm sure Mew's gonna use this this lab than a lot more than Kibo is. Yeah, this is fucking awesome! Look at all these upgrade parts! Oh, you look so pretty with this, Kibo. I want you to make lots of cute noises. <laughs> Please stop! Don't mention that in front of Shuichi! Is that something to be embarrassed about, Kibo? Given how vocal she's been about all her fetishes. Probably. Okay, now... Now, I also remember there was... There was a, uh, another spot we could probably use this. Back up on the, uh, what, the fourth floor? Hey, did you check around the Shrine Gate, too? No. Not yet, why? I remember Kyo telling me this before. Shrine Gates are the entrances to Holy Grounds, and Holy Grounds have barriers around them. When you think of it like that, there may be a secret entrance somewhere around here. Hmm. I wouldn't put it past Kyo. Yeah. I still don't get the stuff with his sister or why he killed Angie and Tenko. But Kyo really was an excellent ultimate anthropologist. But if Kyo had made out of here alive, he might have made even more friends for his sister. True. Kyo, you said how can how you come to terms with death determines how you live. Perhaps I understand what you mean. By facing Kaede's death, I was able to embrace my own talent and move forward. I don't know if I'll ever truly understand your answer. I want to check this floor for any peculiar objects, but... Did you notice the hanging scroll beyond the Shrine Gate? Nothing's written on it. You're right. Yeah, that was bothering me as well. It's strange. That's true. They probably made all this to create an atmosphere. See if you can use the junk there. Leave it to me. 
Maki's never been this cooperative with investigations before. She must have been serious about what she said after the trial. I don't understand. What? Why are you making that gross face? Uh, um... What? It's not gross, is it? I'm just happy. It's uh, really nice that you're working with us like this. Well, unlike Kaido, I'm not just all talk. I always follow through with my decisions. You're right. Maki. Um. Angie. You had strange methods, but you rejected the killing game and wanted us to live in harmony. That all that was taken away for some stupid reason. I never knew you were a Tua, but I'll never forget you. Yeah, this is the shrine they were talking about. Staircase. Seems you can go upstairs from here. Hmm. The fifth floor, huh? How many floors does this school have? Oh, God. Hey. This has a completely different feel from the fourth floor. Huh? That door over there is just plain suspicious. Could it be... This door? Looks like an ultimate lab. I should check inside. I'm guessing this is Samugi's. It's amazing, it's like an event venue. That must mean this is the ultimate cosplayer's lab. This is a set for photo shoots, huh? There are a bunch of backdrops here. This is an incredible setup. Including one of them that looks like a, a classroom from Hope's Peak. Hmm. A sewing machine and work table. Perhaps a space to make and repair costumes. Another set for photo shoots has quite the gothic feel. This looks like a bar. Is this a set too? Yeah. What do you know? It's just like the real thing. Samugi spoke cheerily and sat down at the table in front of the counter. Hey. Shuichi, are you thirsty? I can make you one of my signature cocktails if you like. A signature cocktail? Yeah. Yeah, it seems all the drinks here are top quality stuff. I used to make them a lot at my part time job. Oh, don't worry, it'll be a non alcoholic, of course. Okay, I'll take one. How would you like it? A little stronger, maybe? Huh? Uh, sure. Ah, lay down the charm, did we? What's this feeling? I suddenly feel charitable. <laughs> okay, it's ready. Thank, Thank you. you. <laughs> what kind of a part-time job does she have anyway, mixing drinks like this? With 
those thoughts swirling around in my head, I drank the drink Sumugi handed to me. Shuichi! Please come again. Okay. Yes, thank you. I'll be back. Even with all these materials and tools, even if it's by myself. Hmm. I see. Cosplay's fun to do with others, right? Yeah. There's no point doing it by myself. Do you wanna try? Come on, try cosplaying with me. Huh? Me? Yeah. I think it's just plain fun to become fictional characters. To become a completely different person and feel like you're part of a different world? Right, right? Doesn't that sound interesting? Don't you want to live in a fictional world? But... But uh, I'm investigating right now. Oh, right! Then let's do it later. Let me know when you feel up to it. I'll help you become your favorite character, whether it's from an anime, manga, or game. You can! However, even if you're just trying it out, you gotta cosplay with love. Uh, okay. Right. everything in here. And what's this? Yeah. It doesn't surprise me that Monokuma would build a big-ass cathedral to himself. It's down this hallway, though. We got another door over here. Weirdo. There's an angel statue and a demon statue next to the stairs. Don't chapels usually have those? Hmm. Yeah. This place makes you feel like there's no god, but then there's this. Well, of course Monokuma sees himself as, as god. Is that coincidence or just Monokuma's sense of humor? This door certainly matches the atmosphere of this floor. Doesn't look like it'll open. I suppose I'll have to leave it be for now. Is this... This also looks like an ultimate lab, but whose lab is it? I should check inside to be sure. That looked like a magnifying glass, so I wonder if it's, uh, if it's Shuichi's. Yeah, very Sherlock Holmesy. Huh? What is this? That's true. This looks like your research lab. Uh, okay. It is, right? Well... Let's see what's in here. But I'm getting a bad feeling from this place. A bad feeling. What do you mean? I knew it. What kind of bad feeling, Maki Roll? That's Had... true. I could tell just from looking. But this place doesn't match you at all. I think this lab is too good for someone like you. Oh. Thanks, Maki. <laughs> you might be right. First, I need a cloak and a deerstalker. I don't understand. The clothes wouldn't even look good on you. It won't suit you at all, so don't even try it. What, after, after three cases, she doesn't think we're a decent detective? There are a bunch of files lined up. Looks like about 50 of them. What are these files for? I picked one up at random and flipped through it. Huh? It contained photographs of murder scenes and tricks the culprits used. Huh? What is this? I hurriedly looked through the other files and found they were all similar. You don't know? It's a file containing all the tricks used for murders. I see, I see. You think that... This could give somebody ideas of how to plan an ideal murder. That's... It appears so. Um... Did this incident really happen? No. I can't be sure, but there are pictures of the scene. And all these cases seem feasible. Mm. Feasible, huh? Then this would make a good guideline for anyone who wants to commit murder. Yeah. 
Well, I doubt anyone's that stupid to use a file that's accessible to everyone. Maki picked up a file at random and started flipping through it. This file doesn't have any photographs. It's all just drawn illustrations, but... Huh? Illustrations? Maki began folding the files one after the other off the shelf. Okay. The newer files have photographs, but the older ones have illustrations. Uh, um... But why? Are the old ones just fictional? The first few files have only illustrations, but the others have photographs. Is there a reason for that? Hmm. Bottles line the shelves behind the glass door. Are these? It looks like poison. I knew it. So you think so too, huh? That's true. There's no way that can be normal medicine in the ultimate detective's lab. She opened the cabinet's glass door and peered inside. Mm. Yeah, I know what some of these are. They're definitely poison. Mm. In that case, we should try to dispose of them. We don't want anyone to accidentally... Even if we got rid of them, Monokuma would just replace them. So it's useless doing that. It would only be a temporary situation. A temporary solution. She wants to make sure no one will ever use them. By the way... Even so, I'm surprised they have so many in here. There's poison for instantaneous death, as well as ones that can inflict various symptoms. Depen depending on how you use them, you can set up different gimmicks. But... This doesn't feel like an ultimate detective's lab, more like a criminal's lab. I see. It's a fine line when it comes to knowing everything about crimes. I suppose that's right. There's a fine line between criminal and detective. Anyway, I've investigated all the pieces that concern me. Hmm. Everything here has to do with death. Because. Well, that's your job as a detective, especially in this killing game. Uh, okay. Yeah, I know. The only time I can use my detective talent is after someone dies. A detective can't save anyone. I'm only useful after it's already too late. Why are you so upset all of a sudden? You kill me just for that? That's right. Now I understand why Maki rolled to say that. Your face looked pretty gloomy. Kaido? Yep. Kaito! The face as gloomy as that. I can't believe you're my sidekick. Keep your chin up! Be more proud of yourself, Shuichi. Everything you've done until now is amazing. Uh, okay. Mm. Thanks. That's true. That's why you should be careful. What do you mean? You don't know? Because of how well you did in the class trials, people are keeping their eyes on you, Shuichi. The next culprit might come after you. Huh? Come after me. Don't worry about it. No need to worry about that. I won't let anyone mess with my sidekick. Leave it to me. I'm gonna protect both of you. It's a hero's job to protect his sidekicks. I don't understand. What if I end up as the future culprit? Huh? Are you stupid? That's impossible. How can you believe in people so easily? I believe in you. Didn't I tell you before? I believe in people I want to believe in. And if they betray me, it just means I made a bad call believing in them. <laughs> of course, you're the, we're one of the people I want to believe in, Maki Roll. By the way, why are you even here? Did you finish playing tag with Tokichi? Lost track of him. Couldn't find that guy anywhere. Uh, um... Couldn't find him. But he still has the motive card key, right? Ah. Yeah, he should still have it. There's a chance that Kokichi could have used the card key and gone somewhere. Yeah. Hmm, yeah, the, the rest of us can't access. Well, he ended up getting away, but look what I found. Got it. It's the flashback light. Oh, okay, you found it, cool. You found one. Of course. I'm worried about Kokichi, but I think we should deal with this first. So let's all gather in the dining hall. Me too? Well... If we split among the three of us, it shouldn't take too much time. Alright! Let's go! After splitting up, the three of us went to gather the others. After a time, everyone had gathered in the dining hall. Okay, I think we're gonna cut it off here then.
Next time we'll see what uh, what memories this brings back. All right. I'm playing a game.